Hey everybody, welcome back to another Addicted Tutorial. I'm Jordan Kanigi and today we're out here on the river putting to death a long time dispute of whether all drift fishing is flossing and snagging. So to get a little bit of a history lesson for you people out there that don't know what flossing is, flossing is a technique of drift fishing that you actually use to drift down, have a long leader and bring the line across the fish's mouth and set the hook across the fish's face and hook that fish without the fish ever biting. It's a method that's used to catch sockeye and subspecies in the world that historically don't bite and it's actually a legal method in some areas but where people don't like it and it's really disputable is at these hatchery areas or on rivers where there's large amounts of fish and people are purposely trying to line through them and snag them which is illegal in a lot of places. So we're going to start off with a couple of the main differences of what make flossing snagging and what makes drift fishing an actual ethical way to fish where the fish are always actually biting. First things first, the very main part of this technique called flossing is leader length. That's what's going to separate the men from the boys on whether it's flossing or whether it's technical drift fishing, actually ethical bi fish biting. So the difference is with a long, over a four and a half foot leader, basically I'm going to consider a flossing technique. If you have your drift fish set up with your three-way swivel and your weight, and your leader, your leader length exceeds three to three and a half to four and a half feet, it's going to be considered flossing because what's happening is once you get that long leader, anywhere from five to six, sometimes even seven feet, you see people with leaders that are almost as long as their rod. What's happening is you're hitting that line or your weight on the bottom of the river, drifting that line through and letting this vast little length of line go all the way across the hole to where if there's any fish that are facing up river, that line's gonna go across their mouth and then they're gonna set the hook across their fish's face. So with a short leader, it stays in the strike zone the whole time, it stays down right in front of the fish and it has the ability to float by the fish without lining across their mouths in a big, in a big school of fish or even if there's a single fish. So having a short leader is one of the main key points of it being not flossing, that is drift fishing. So. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you the second point. The second point is the rod tip control and the end of the drift. And what I mean by that is what the angler does at the end of, the, at the end of your drift fishing sequence is going to determine whether or not you're trying to floss or intentionally trying to snag. And what that is is setting the hook. You'll see a lot of people that drift their drift fishing setup down, they get it to the end of the hole, they might give it a little more line, let it go a little further, and then they'll go and they'll reel back in right after their presentation is done. If people are trying to floss or snag and they have a long six foot leader, odds are at the end of every drift that they make, you're gonna see them set the hook before they reel in. Their excuse may be they're trying to pull it off the bottom where they were snagged, but the key point of it is they're setting the hook and ripping that long six to seven foot leader that they have across that hole at a good rate, right at the end of the tail out where if there is any fish, that line's gonna swing across, go right across their mouths and hook in that fish and or any other part of their body. So I'm gonna show you that technique. First, I'm gonna do a, an ethical drift fishing sequence. I'm gonna drift through here, keep it bouncing on the bottom. At the end, I'm gonna reel it in. And then the very next cast, I'll do a, a drift fishing setup and a sequence of where I would actually say I was trying to floss or snag a fish. So this is gonna be the ethical one. I'm gonna take my drift fish setup. I'm gonna cast out here into the middle. I'm gonna let it sink. Keep my rod at 45 and I'm gonna follow that setup all the way down the river letting it bounce off the bottom, come down into this nice slow pocket. It's gonna settle in here, I might get snagged. I'm gonna fish it all the way through the fishable water. And at the very end, there I'm at the end of my drift, I'm gonna reel straight in and go to recast. Now I'm gonna show you an unethical or, or a wrong practice of how to actually reel this in or set the hook. And I'm gonna show you what it would be to be flossing. So if I was trying to floss, I'd throw it out here I'd let that sink down. Most people that are flossing are gonna keep their tip a lot lower to try to keep a big belly in their line and drag it across all the fish's faces. Then at the very end of their drift and or at the sweet spot of the hole at the meat, they're gonna do one of these. Lift, all the way up and above their head. And what they're doing at that point is trying to rip that line across the current, across those fish's faces and hook them without them even coming at their bait or trying to bite. So. A lot of times you'll hear, if anybody ever extends past their ear, they consider them trying to floss. Sometimes when I set the hook on a fish that's biting a normal drift fishing setup, I'll end up up above my head and run out of, out of 
arm length, but that's mostly because I'm trying to catch up with that fish coming back at me. What I'll do it again, another unethical cast, I'll cast back out here, let it drift through all the way to the end or right in the meat of it and you'll see a person get to the end of the drift and do a big lift in a hook set and then reel in. So, to put it all to bed, really the difference between flossing and snagging is the line presentation and the way that they end their drifts. So, to keep it straight, use shorter leaders, reel back in at the end of the drift and wait till you feel that trout bite and not a big thump. As that, as that gear goes over the fish's backs or across their tail, you wanna feel a real bite and or the fish will just automatically be on. So keep that in mind, everybody. Comment below. We wanna see what everybody has to say about this video because everybody has different techniques and different ideas, but really a long leader and a small method of, of fishing with a, a small corky or a small bead is really gonna be your flossing. Anything short leader and a real presentation is going to be normal fishing and normal drift fishing so comment questions below let's see you guys like this video share it out there be sure to subscribe to our page we'll see you guys on the river